Hey, my name is Trish Jones and I'm the blogging queen. Now, what I'm about to tell you is going to fly in the face of those proponents who will tell you that you should go out and get yourself a free blog hosted on blogger.com or wordpress.com because basically they're free. But what I'm going to tell you plain and simple is that you need to own your blog. If you're serious about blogging because you want to make money or if you want to create a long term blog and certainly if you want to create a business blog, there is only one way to do it and that is owning your blog. Now what do I mean by owning your blog? The first thing is you need to host your blog on your own hosting account and secondly you need to host that hosting account with one that has yourname.com so you should have a hosting account that is yours and you should also have your domain name.com why do I tell you this because if you actually host with blogger.com or wordpress.com meaning that you basically just sign into their panel and you create a username and password and then suddenly you have a blog up if you do something that is in violation of their terms and conditions they will just delete your blog and there is nothing you can do about it. So you can have your blog one day and you can go to bed and then wake up the next morning, poof, there's no blog because they've actually deleted it. And they don't allow you, well at least some of them don't allow you to actually make the most of monetization strategies such as using Google AdSense. And in fact on one of the forums that I've been to there's a guy called Rainmaker. And Rainmaker makes hit makes it his job to actually go and grass you up to wordpress.com if you dare to put Google AdSense on your wordpress.com hosted blog and guess what within minutes those blogs have been deleted so don't say you've not been warned and so as I say to you there is only one way to actually create a long-term blog and I highly recommend WordPress uh, and that is not to be confused with wordpress.org where you can actually go and download the free software okay so you're probably thinking to yourself now well Trish everybody just keeps telling me that the best way to actually get a blog is go to blogger.com or wordpress.com and build a blog but I'm not that techie and I can't do this well I'm gonna tell you you can watch this video and then it will clear up all confusion about building a WordPress blog using your own host and using your own domain name and then I'll see you after the video. Hi this is Trish Jones speaking and I'm in the control panel of my website and I just want to show you just how quick and easy it is to get started with a blog today. Now what I'm going to show you is how to create a basic WordPress blog or install one I should say and most people actually want to customize their blog once they've actually installed it but this will actually get you started on your blog today so what we want to do is scroll down to the bottom of um, my control panel and here you'll see a smiley face and this is called Fantastico now Fantastico are scripts that are generally free and uh, with basically generally a one-click install you have scripts installed on your website so here we are now in Fantastico and one of the scripts that you see here is the WordPress script so we're going to click on that some people actually refer to this installation of WordPress as the one-click install and there is another way a little bit more complicated than this but it gives you more flexibility over the password and username etc that you use so I'm then going to uh, carry on with this one click install and I want to do a new installation and it will tell me here that this is the version of WordPress that it's going to install it will tell me the disk space required and the disk space available so you click on new installation and it will ask you whether you want to click on sorry install on the domain Trish Jones and I have two domains actually on this server so I could choose either one uh, actually let's choose net marketing mentor since there's nothing on there and if I wanted to install directly on the marketingmentor.com I would leave this install directly directory sorry um, blank if I wanted to install say in the blog directory so I'll just type that in in the blog directory and so therefore in order to get to my blog 
my visitors would have to type in www.thenetmarketingmentor.com forward slash blog. Then I would put the uh, blog or whichever directory it might be. Uh, it could be WordPress, it could be my blog, whatever you want to call it, you would type it in there. And then you come down to here and you put in your username and your password. In the main, people tend to use admin as the password, but you can have whatever you want. So you type in admin and then you would uh, put your password in. So, okay, I'm just gonna type in ECJ123456. And then what's my nickname? I could have Trish. It will ask me for my email address, which this isn't, this is not, this isn't even an email address, by the way, so, uh, don't try to actually send uh, chjones at trishjones.com an email. Uh, but you type your email address in there and um, then you would type your site name in and the description. This, all of this is actually changeable once you get into the back office of the blog. So don't worry about it too much. You might want to put your email in here because uh, WordPress will then send you um, an email confirmation and then again you can type your email and uh, username and password here but again you can change this once you get into the back office and then you literally click install WordPress oh dear it says that the installation cannot be completed because I didn't give a username and a password so let's go back naughty naughty Okay, I'm just going to pause this a second. Okay, I'm going to try again. I'm not sure whether it's because this isn't a proper email address, but I'll try it again. And there you go. This time it's actually completed it, and it's telling me now that um, this is uh, uh, process number two of three, and it's going to install it in the Net Marketing Mentor in the subsidiary called Blog, and I can access it by going to HTTP the netmarketingmentor.com forward slash blog. So now all I want to do is click finish installation. And this will just give you some information. It would, this is just effectively telling you what is on your database and you don't need to worry about this. Okay. It's just configured for you. Um, it will tell me what my username and password is. And if I want to, I can actually ask them to email me a copy, which I don't want to bother because I'm actually going to delete this as soon as I've done. So um, let's go back to WordPress as it's suggested. And then I'm just going to pause this and go to netmarketingmentor.com. In fact, let's do, just do this quickly. And there you have it. There is my basic blog. Um, even though I use the Net Marketing Mentor, I think because it was on the trishjones.com directory, it's, it's done it on there. So I'm glad that I actually did that in the blog directory. Otherwise, I would have been crying today. <laughs> so there is my basic WordPress blog, as you can see. So I hope you saw from that video just how easy it is to set up a WordPress blog. Okay, you're back. Now, wasn't that easier than you think? Uh, I thought it was. So what are you waiting for? Go and build a blog. All right. Okay. You want me to give you more? Okay. I'll give you more. You need to go to www.trishjones.com and download a free copy of my ebook called Jumpstart Blogging. Not only will that give you again the process step by step in terms of how to build a blog, it will also give you some tips and strategies on how to monetize your blog and how to get the best out of your blog. Go there now, www.trishjones.com and don't waste another minute with trying to mess about with blogger.com and wordpress.com. Just go and go to godaddy.com and pay $8, sorry, $8 even for your own domain name and then go to uh, someone like HostGator and get yourself a $10 per month hosting account and get blogging. Get blogging knowing that no one can come along and press the delete button and take your blog away from you. All the best to your online success.